It's Sunday and we're in the garden. It's much warmer today. It's going to go up to 13 degrees, so it doesn't feel half as bitter as it has over the past week. Sunday's our chicken coop cleaning out day. So we've been putting up the pole tree um, this morning. That's all now done. So I'll be able to put together the video, uh, the omelette video um, this week. So it'll be up in a couple of days time. So I'm really excited. The girls have already been absolutely loving it. And uh, it was really fun putting it up because they were trying to get on it before we'd even finished. You hear hey hey, it's getting all excited. Um, Dan's mum and her husband have just left and uh, said a tearful goodbye. We had a lovely weekend with them, exchanging gifts and eating food and just catching up and being relatively chilled. And now we're gonna clean up, do the laundry, do all the usual adulting things we need to do. And that includes cleaning these girls out um, and getting them all ready for the week. So I've got my rubber gloves. I'm gonna start picking up poo. Got a load of spring bulbs on offer they were in the sale because we're right at the last minute to plant them really so i got some crocus and some snowdrops because my beloved chickens have dug up all of the ones that are already in my flower beds so i'm planting some in pots now in the hope that they might come up might be a bit late but come spring we'll find out so they're all cleaned out now but there's one more thing that we have to do this Sunday that's very important. Hello, I'm looking rather fluffy because I've had a nice hot bath after all our hard work in the garden. I just got distracted then because I thought someone was outside the window, but it's one of the Christmas lights dangling. <laughs> I forgot we put those up. I'm just sitting here and I've been doing a little bit of knitting um, on my third pair of Strictly socks, which is a little pattern that I'm just making up as I go. Um, I'm not, they're not going to win any awards, but um, I'm really enjoying doing it. It's just fun and it's a nice thing to be doing. And I want to cast on my Christmassy yarn. Uh, that I got from Becky the other day when we met up and went to Scotney Castle. So I'm going to do that. I had a bit of problem. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be a few days after it happened. But on the day um, 10 vlog, something happened overnight to it and it just went back to private and all the um, title and the description reset to just, as though I'd only just uploaded it. Um, so it kind of, Got a few views and comments and then just went to private it was really strange so I, I noticed when i got up this morning and just set it to public again so if you if you were looking for it last night i couldn't find it i have no idea no idea what if it was youtube or i pressed something or did something weird <laughs> anyway i find myself in an unusual situation which is i am in the house on my own which never happens. Dan has gone to pick Lilia up. She's been at a Winter Wonderland event with her boyfriend. They're so cute. And he's gonna pick her up. Phoebe wanted to go along for the ride. And then they're gonna pick up fish and chips on the way home because none of us had the energy to be able to cook. So we were like, do you know what? Fish and chips. I don't actually very much like fish and chips, but everybody else does. So I'm gonna have some scampi and maybe just steal a couple of the other's chips. Um, yeah, I'll either get scampi or mince and onion pie. That's what I'll have in the chip shop. And I really don't like chip shop chips, I know. Although having said that, the last time we went to, on our walk, on our walk when we walked from Margate to Ramsgate, which is a vlog on this channel, we got chips at Broadstairs and they were delicious. They were lovely. Anyway, I'm on a tangent about chips now. I've come on to tell you the song of today. So we've had a we've had a really nice day actually. I love Sundays and I'm pleased with what we got done in the garden and for the chickens and I'm glad that they're looking a bit festive now as well. <laughs> and I think it was Mandy suggested that for the song of the day we might want to consider the postmodern jukebox. And we love the postmodern jukebox. We like watching their videos and we, we love their music. Yeah, we really like them. And I hadn't realized they'd done a number of Christmas songs. So I just had to edit out a load of coffee. I'm still so snotty. I can't believe 
that I've got that amount of snot still in me. It doesn't seem possible. <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, so I went and had a little look at some of their Christmas songs. And I found one I really liked, but I was a little bit torn because as far as I'm concerned, there's only one man who can sing the Christmas song, and that is Nat King Cole. Uh, it's probably my most favourite Christmas song of all time. His voice, that song, the way it makes me feel from listening to it growing up and everything. He, literally my favourite version of that song. However, I would like to make the song of the day today the Christmas song by the Postmodern Jukebox featuring, I think it's Von Smith, because he has an amazing vocal talent and, listen to me, vocal talent. So I fancy myself as a bit Simon Cowell on the X Factor, don't I? Um, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do like listening to him. And it's a really nice version, the way they're all, they're all playing their instruments and they're all in a Christmassy basement. And he's got just an amazing voice. And there's a bit a couple of minutes in where he does this sort of really long, almost operatic note, which and you just realise what a talent he is. So I'm going to put a link to that video underneath in the list of songs. So underneath in the description box or wherever the description box pops up, there's a list of all of the songs of the day that we've had um, throughout the of Vlogmas so far. And this time I will put a link to that video so you can go and watch and enjoy it and maybe go down a little postmodern jukebox rabbit hole because they um, he, they have some amazingly talented musicians, singers, dancers and everything on that channel. Okay, I'm going to go and shut up. I'm going to go and finish uploading, uh, editing and uploading day 11. And then I'm going to enjoy peace and quiet and I am going to go through the radio times, the Christmas radio times, and look at the things I want to watch. Somebody asked what the radio times is. It is a TV listings magazine and radio as well. I'm not sure, do they even still do radio? Hang on. I know they do TV. Certainly I think it's called the radio times because they used to list radio as well, but I'm not sure they even still list radio. And it's important for us to get this at Christmas for two reasons. One, they do a bumper issue that covers the two weeks of Christmas and there's so much on at Christmas that you've got to go through the radio times and see what you want to watch so you don't miss anything. You can set it up to record. And second of all, my dad loved the radio times. It's such an old fashioned thing, but he subscribed to it and he had it open on his footstool in front of the telly and he would go through it every week so he knew what was on. So it reminds me of my dad as well. And I'm gonna go look through it now. I'll see you tomorrow.